guys, I think it's happening. I think I'm just about ready to come out of hibernation. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This feels so weird. I feel like I haven't vlogged at home in months. I feel like now is a good time for a quick catch up, but guys, it's spring. The sun is shining today. The blossoms are blooming or the blooms are blossoming. The days have been getting longer by one to two minutes every day since the 22nd of December, which sounds inconsequential, but actually it's starting to make a real difference. Sunset's like past six o'clock now and the clocks are going forward this month, so we get an extra hour of daylight. We're gonna be able to wear nice clothes again soon. I'm just so excited. I truly feel like I'm defrosting. Coming out of hibernation, I really find those like months, the winter months after Christmas just very, very depressing. And I have to work really hard to like keep myself uplifted in that time. And maybe next year I'll do a video on how I deal with that. But as you guys know, I've been having some time away from YouTube since the summer. I told you guys how I was feeling about everything in September. And honestly, I was so reluctant to do that, but it was the best thing I could have done because it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. And since then I've been around, I've shown my face, you guys know I did like a few videos in November around haul week, Black Friday. I did my Disneyland vlog last month. And I've also been keeping present on the other apps as well. Um, so please come and follow me on those if you don't already. And honestly, I feel like that's great. I feel like that is really going to work for me this year at least, like coming onto YouTube with a vlog once a month so we can catch up and I'll kind of show you the highlights of what I've been up to. Or if I go on a trip, like my Disneyland vlog, honestly guys, it kind of like made me remember why I fell in love with YouTube. It was so much fun to edit and I just loved watching it back and I hate watching my videos back. So hopefully there will be more trips, maybe even some home reno projects. We can bring back breakfast at Freddy's. Like I have so much that I want to do in the flat. Like it's so beautiful but it's been like nearly three years since I got the keys and I'm just like itching to like change a few things get the paint brushes back out it's just so much fun to do so obviously if I do that I will make a video about it so what I'm trying to say is you will see me around this year like I don't want to quit YouTube or just never show my face again but it's just about like doing it in a way that manages my sanity also I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with me on my other platforms or have seen me in black right now is a massive shock to the eyes but I have been wearing a lot of black this winter but let me just take you down so I can show you guys this cardigan properly how cute is this it's from Goelia we're gonna do a little spring haul in a minute of some new spring pieces but this is one of them that I just have not been able to resist wearing before the haul because I just love the little flower buttons it kind of just gives a Chanel vibe and it's so cute so chic also guys I've kind of had a thing recently for carnations which I know is so random like they're so cheap like cheap supermarket flowers but I just am really loving them at the moment they're just so cute and fluffy they're kind of like mini peonies um and I feel like if you get them in white and like sprinkle a few pink ones in as well like these are only half bloomed but they can just look really pretty and they're really cheap and yeah there's just some really nice cute things in the diary this month that I wanted to share with you it's going to be a really fun cute girly vlog um and I really hope you enjoy it Oh, also before I go, I wanted to let you guys know that whilst you're watching this, we will be in the middle of our big spring fling sale at Flossie. We haven't done any kind of sale or promotion since Black Friday. So all the dresses are going to be, I think, up to 30% off. And if you guys watch this video through, there's going to be a cute little hidden Easter egg in this video with an extra 10% off code on. Ah. The boy is back. So is the chair. I thought you were dark coat. Is there a straw? There is no straw. There's no straw? Of course there's a straw. Oh. Oh my gosh, for some reason I have just been craving a DC, but like a fountain DC in a cup with a straw. And I've been mentioning this, obviously like dropping hints. <laughs> and JJ just brought me one back from McDonald's. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, that is good. What did you get? Zero. Honestly, did, is it, was it you that told me that McDonald's have like patented the ratio of soda to syrup? Which I don't is, know if it's that exactly, but they've got something going on. I feel like they do have something going on because I'm other, telling you, it tastes better. To do. Yeah. yeah, it tastes better. <sighs> I love it when you can feel that DC just coursing through your veins. Oh my god. It just revitalizes me. Before I start the haul, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day, which is this adorable 
Corellia cardigan with my Under the Stories black boucle skirt. I just love the little like Chanel flowers and it's a lovely like really fine knit so perfect for spring um, and I'm hoping that I can take this outfit that'll be warm enough to wear this outfit in Paris in April. Fingers crossed because I have the best shoes to pair with this outfit, let me quickly show you. So I couldn't resist these um, when I saw them online and I really didn't need another pair, but I thought especially with all of this like new black that's in my wardrobe, um, like kind of black and white, I had to get these like cream and black Mary Janes from And Other Stories, like can you even, they are so cute. Oh my gosh guys, this is actually illegally cute, illegally cute imagine the shoes with this ensemble little cream bow in the hair like are you kidding me this is heaven and this is what i've been missing out on by not wearing black i'm just obsessed with this look so a great start um from goelia because without this cardigan it would not be as cute but it's just so freaking adorable let's try the rest on <laughs> So guys, all of these pieces are from Goelia, which is a beautiful um, brand for high quality ultra feminine pieces. I do have discount codes, which I'll put on the screen now. So yeah, I'm going to Paris in a few weeks and it's with my mum and Coco, so I'm probably not going to vlog, but I'll make like some YouTube shorts um, and content on other platforms as well. And I just really, really hope that the weather is going to be nice enough for me to actually wear some of these outfits some tights. So this outfit is definitely going to be packed, but I will of course take a couple of jackets. My first thought is actually this one, which I got in my Goelia haul um, in October. I have worn this so much since then, like when it's been warm enough to wear a jacket and not like a full on coat. Oh my gosh, it's just adorable. It's this beautiful like textured wool with these really cute little fancy gold buttons. And it's just got this really gorgeous kind of like H-line silhouette, I think that's called, um, and it's just really, really flattering. So classic, simple, but chic. In this creamy ivory colour, it honestly goes with everything. Um, so this is a really good option. Or I have another one, which is new. This one is potentially a little bit more French, Parisian feeling, um, because it kind of has a little bit more of a Chanel vibe, because it's got this really gorgeous, like, slightly sparkly tweed. Really gorgeous satin lining as well. I really appreciate these things. Oh, do you guys see what I mean? This is just a little bit more French. It's a bit more Paris. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. I did not think that I would like this more than my wool one, but it's just so chic. It's giving more Paris vibes, I think. I love this like stand-up collar it really elevates it and these beautiful shiny champagne gold buttons like just imagine with the Celine sunglasses this is going to be perfect and it's also a wool blend um so it's actually going to be warm as well so it's practical as well as gorge oh my gosh guys this next look you're going to love isn't that just so like classic freddy so let's break down the look first of all um, I just popped on these white shorts that I actually got from my autumn Goelia haul, so hopefully they'll still have them in stock and I can link them for you guys because they are so gorgeous, a beautiful tailored fit, really lovely soft fabric, not see-through, and just like a really nice comfortable fit as well, but they just look really sophisticated, put together, good wardrobe staple. Then obviously we've got this gorgeous pink jacket, it's just the most beautiful shade of pink as well, so princessy and romantic, and it's just such lovely quality, like it feels so expensive and well made, it's so lovely and thick, the lining is this gorgeous pink satin, very luxurious, very high end, um, I also love where it sits, like on the body as well, it's short, but it's not cropped, it just kind of sits at the perfect place between your waist and hips, I think just looks really, really chic. And then underneath the jacket, I have this absolutely stunning blouse. You guys know I love a little blouse that has like a frill, ruffle or a bow, or just something to make it really feminine and fancy. And this one is just perfect. I love the loose drapey fit that's still super feminine and flattering. It's got a little like pie crust frill collar and also on the cuffs as well, and the bow, which is so perfect when you're wearing like a jacket or a cardigan 
skin and just kind of want a little extra detail around the neck it's so pretty it's also got these gorgeous little mock pearl buttons these are actually really similar buttons that we use on flossy dresses very soft very romantic but again a classic wardrobe staple and i just pray that it's warm enough for me to wear this outfit in paris because how perfect with this sleeve just like some little ballet flats or pumps okay back to black i'm afraid just temporarily although i know there will be so many girls and ladies that watch me that like are rejoicing in me wearing black because it's a very popular color um but anyway i just fell in love with this dress when i saw it on goelia i thought it would be the most perfect like winter to spring transitional dress because it's so warm like it's a really beautiful thick high quality soft knit so I feel like you could wear this with bare legs or maybe some sheer tights but with no jacket and you'd still be nice and warm but you'd still kind of have that nice spring no coat feel, you know? I just popped my headband on with this but I'm not sure if I'm giving none now but let's just go with it. This is the classiest little dress. I'm obsessed. I love this little white frill um, that's on the collar and also the cuffs and it's another knit and I just can't describe to you guys the way that it's layered. It's just such good quality this is so well made i thought i knew what to look for before in all of those years of doing hauls but i've learned so much by having flossy that it really makes me appreciate when things are really beautifully made and this is just gorgeous it's a drop waist which honestly guys never looks good on me i do not have the body to pull off um a drop waist i feel like normally if you have hips full stop a line does not work but for some reason this is still so nice and flattering it's got this beautiful like pleated hemline which is so chic i love the gold buttons i just love everything about it and it's so warm if it's warm in paris i'll definitely wear this um with bare legs and these shoes or if i'm not lucky with the weather i will pair it with some black tights and my patent mary james so cute i am obsessed <laughs> another dress that you are just going to love look at this this is very grown up i feel like it looks like it's vintage chanel cruise it's kind of got this nautical like kind of sailory boating vibe with the um open shirt collar and the trim and it just looks really vintage and retro it's finished with these beautiful mock pearl buttons it's a really beautiful flattering a-line shape with these really lovely seams going down the back but they do also do this in the reverse colorway so black with a cream trim i love this those are the shoes Oh my gosh, it definitely would be too extra, but can you imagine with my big black pretty woman hat? Okay, it needs a steam because it's been in storage, but I cannot actually cope. This is so vintage chic. It's giving kind of like Meredith Blake, but then it's also sort of like 1950s as well. Let's go back to Son Le Chapeau for a minute. Is that correct? Son Le Chapeau? I'm trying really hard to brush up all my French for Paris because I'm also going to the south of France in June. This would be so perfect for the south of France, except that it's knit, so I think it's going to be a bit too hot to wear this. But again, this one is an amazing transitional piece because it's knit, so it's warm. You can do this with black tights as well, and it's not going to look stupid because of the black trim. It's heaven. Okay, so the final piece is this dress. Well, it's actually one dress, two colours, so I'll try them both on for you. But it's in this absolutely beautiful, like jacquard fabric so it has this beautiful florally texture i love like the square neckline it's so flattering these three quarter length like slightly puffy sleeves really elegant it's beautiful like a-line pleated skirt it's just such a gorgeous silhouette and then look at the back this big gorgeous bow which is just amazing i feel like i'll need something really nice to wear in the evenings in paris like if we go to a nice restaurant do like a fancy dinner or we're going to the moulin rouge one night so this could be really nice for that but probably the other color actually but this is just beautiful i could wear it with these shoes honestly i've just realized guys i could potentially get away with just packing one pair of shoes for this Paris trip because these just go with everything. And then finally, this is the dress in black, which is so gorgeous. I also just thought this like kind of sleek bun with a little bow just like went really well with the look. And I think I'll definitely wear this to the Moulin Rouge on the Moulin Rouge night because I can either wear it like bare legs with my Mary Janes, the black ones, or with tights and I'll be fine either way. And then just one of those little 
ivory jackets and I'll just be perfect. I also just realised that the bow um, is detachable on the dress if you would prefer to wear it like a little bit more low key, although I can't actually understand why you would want to do that because the bow is magnificent. Or could you put the bow in your hair? Oh my gosh, no, maybe that's actually a bit much. <laughs> I just absolutely love this. I feel like it's the perfect, perfect little black dress and then I thought that if it does get a little bit chilly I could wear this little um, cardigan which is also from Goelia just like over the shoulders this is so beautiful it's that really lovely soft like fluffy wool with these beautiful like pearly buttons it just like all goes with the vibe like how cute is this honestly guys my entire Paris wardrobe is sorted I love all of these outfits so much. So don't forget that everything will be linked down below. Also, everything is shoppable on my LTK profile, so come and follow me. You can also use my discount codes and all the information will be down below. And as always, I've left the most almighty mess doing that try on, so let me tidy this up. <laughs> Guys, that was such a good try on. I also just love my hair like this. I did this in Disneyland, kind of like Disney bound as Cinderella um, with a little bow and I just love it. And I've been wearing my hair like this a bit more often since then um but yeah that was such a good haul the clothes were even nicer in real life than on the website which is always good very very chanel vibes that's totally what i was getting from pretty much all of those outfits which is very apt because tomorrow i've actually got tickets to the chanel exhibition at the bna jj and i are going because i managed to get tickets on the resale i didn't get them the first time because i was too slow so that'll be really fun i'll take you guys along but for now i'm just going to tidy up the flat and enjoy the rest of this sunny day Good morning everyone, it is another absolutely beautiful sunny day which honestly just puts me in the best mood. We have been having the greyest, most depressing, dark winter I think of all time. Apparently we had like the wettest February in 250 years, that's how depressing and miserable it's been. So um, it's beautiful sunny day today but it is unfortunately still freezing. So although I would love to wear one of those gorgeous outfits from yesterday's haul and the Chanel exhibition today, it's a bit too cold and I need to wrap up a bit warmer. So I'll show you guys my outfit for the day. Um, first of all, starting with this base layer, which is actually from Goelia as well. I got the sleeveless like vest version of this in autumn and I wear it all the time because it's such a lovely, like soft, comfortable, warm, but breathable base layer. And I love how this little frill, um, if you're wearing like a cardigan, it just sticks up over the crew neck um, and just like gives a little something extra. So when I saw they had a long sleeve version, I knew I had to have it because I've got so much wear out of the vest. So here is the outfit with the cardigan. It's this really adorable little knitted two piece from And Other Stories. I know it's a shock seeing me like in this much black, but I just love it. I feel like Emily Gilmore when I wear this, who, let's be honest, is a real style icon. Um, and you guys see what I mean with the Goelia knit, like how cute that looks sticking out of the collar. It just like really adds to it. I feel like this would just not look as cute without the frill. It just gives it a little bit of something extra. <laughs> and then I popped in my Oliver Bonus velvet bow in my hair. This has been such a go-to hairstyle for me um, throughout winter because I just feel like it's really nice when you know the curls aren't really oh but they're actually not bad but you know in, like day three hair when like the curls are just not as fresh as they were and maybe the top is a little bit greasy so you can just like slick this back this bit of hairspray doesn't really matter if the curls are perfect because you just add a bow and it looks cute that's been like my go-to and then i just got to talk to you guys about these shoes you know when like you need to share a good deal like a good find with a friend that's how i feel with you guys like i need to tell you about these so i don't know how closely you've kept up with me but i've got a pair just like this and um, these patent mary janes from and other stories they've got like a square toe and quite a chunky heel and they're very cool i like them i've worn them a lot since i got them in like last september i think um but then the other day i was visiting my granny and she wanted to go shopping for some ballet flats that she could just like pop on to go out into the garden so we went to new look and i haven't been into new look like a physical new look store in probably like six or seven years honestly anyway we're in there and she's trying on all of these ballet flats and i saw these and i was like oh my goodness i need to buy these because they're like mine but they're nicer and they were so cheap they were like 35 pounds but then when i got to the till they were on some like hidden promotion and i ended up spending like 26 pounds on these so i was so thrilled and i just think they're beautiful like look how perfect and dainty like the toe is how gorgeous the heel is like it's still chunky but not too chunky 
gorgeous double strap with a little gold buckle. I was absolutely thrilled with that purchase and I tried to link them like on Instagram and show all of you but they were out of stock online. So I'll check again by the time I put this video live and see if they've restocked them. Otherwise, go into a store because they had so many in the store that I went into. So this is what the shoes look like on. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Let me try and get a bit closer. Absolutely love them. I'm just like so thrilled that Mary Janes are in fashion because I have loved these shoes like literally my entire life. I had some just like this that I used to wear to school. Of course, I have to take my pink Chanel bag out with me today. This whole outfit is obviously very Chanel inspired, but you guys know me. I love to dress for the occasion. <laughs> So JJ and I are going to the exhibition and then after that my dad and Coco are joining us and we're actually going to see Stranger Things tonight which I'm so excited about because as you guys know I'm a musical girl like I'm always at every single musical basically that comes out but I don't really do plays I'm not a big play girl but Stranger Things is not just like a typical play apparently there's a lot of like kind of magic, supernatural, like it's a big spectacle. And I do really, really like Stranger Things. JJ and I watched season one um, and really, really loved it, but then we didn't really like season two, so we didn't continue it. But Coco has said to me that season three and season four are way, way better than season two, so maybe we should pick pick it back up. But anyway, I'm really excited to go and see it tonight and I will let you know what it's like. Oh, I was just about to put my camera um, on my shelf and realised that you guys haven't seen my shelf in a while. I think I may need another bookshelf because it's getting a bit out of control. People just always buy me these fashion books for Christmas and birthday because I think people just don't know what else to buy me and I honestly could not complain. I absolutely love them. They're all so beautiful. I've got such a collection now. This one, the fashion show, um, Dior, I've got the Dior book which is beautiful vintage fashion, Elizabeth II fashion book, The Beloved Queen, What Would Audrey Do, Vogue, Heels, Essentials, I mean I've literally got everything, all of these Megan Hess books, Little Book of Dior, Chanel, um, this is another um, royal stylist book, mainly about the Queen, the Yves Saint Laurent one, and what's up here, the Big Dior catwalk book, <sighs> Miss Dior, Little Book of Chanel, and oh Couture by Megan Hess, I just have so many. Um, no, I haven't read them all, obviously. I'd love to get around to that one day, but yeah, I think I might need another shelf. What do you guys think? We're just about to leave, so I will catch you guys when we get there. I don't know how much I'll be allowed to film. I don't know what the filming and photography restrictions are for this exhibit, but I'll try my best. I know tickets for this were quite hard to get and lots of people weren't able to go. So hopefully if you're one of those people, um, you'll be able to live it through this vlog. <laughs> We just came out of the exhibition and I of course had to pick up the tote bag because I've seen people with this around town and got jealous and then JJ got me a present so would you like to show everyone? <gasps> no honestly you were JJ you were so interested in it weren't you? I was genuinely interested yeah. in it. Yeah. Oh, it's look, true, it's really I'm wearing my new shoes. Never mind then. <laughs> yeah, never mind.
what a beautiful evening. It's such a gloomy morning and this gorgeous sunset in South Ken. In 1852, I was deep in the cloud forests of Peru when I first saw these beautiful giant butterflies. Some were as large as condors. So pretty! Others trailed stacking. Scanning the QR code, you can use your device to launch magical nectar of the golden uh, chrys chry chrysalises around you. This releases the magical butterfly from within. Coco? I <laughs> You don't! Coco! <laughs> it's off! Cute jacket! Thank you. Cute bag! Let's see the bag. JJ got her this bag for Christmas. Do my jeans? No. We're at Stranger Things! Woohoo! Thank you, Brit. Um, I can't breathe. There's so much to do then. I think I'm too invested in the original series. Like, I'm a die-hard, like, hardcore Stranger Things fan. I can't breathe. I know that's what's about it. It's really good. There's so much to do. I don't the man scientist. You like the one that we know. I'm literally, I'm shaking. That is so scary. Terrifying. What are you? Yeah. Don't be dramatic. No, I'm not being everyone this is me this morning I'm trying on a gown in a huge huge mess I'm going to a big influencer gala tonight at the Natural History Museum so everyone will be super dressed up I'm actually going to Ems to get ready so that we can travel in and arrive together but I just have to like prep my outfit try it on this morning left it to the last minute as usual I actually rented this dress from her I'm just really over like buying dresses that I'm gonna wear once for an occasion and then I just have to store it in my wardrobe, which I do not have room for. So the fact that like renting outfits now is a thing is just the best. So I got this from her. I'll give you the um, full reveal later. Does anyone else find that it's so hard to like try on an outfit and see if you like it when like you don't have any makeup on, your hair's not done, like it's so hard to get the vision. So I'm just like crossing my fingers that it's going to be okay. Taking out pin curls is officially like the most satisfying thing ever. I mean, just look how beautifully uniformed these pin curls are. It's honestly a shame to take them out. That is definitely the Virgo in me speaking. Oh my god, it's so curly. Um, but yeah, it works. Hopefully it will stay until this evening. And this is going to be my fragrance for the evening. I always save this one for when, like, I want to feel fancy. So I pretty much only wear this in the evenings on, like, special occasions. Um, because it's just so regal and luxurious. And yeah, just makes me feel really fancy. <laughs> So guys, I'm all ready. I'm at M's, I'm at M's shell home. Hello. And we're both going in pink. We we had to match. This is the dress. I didn't show you my blog earlier. I kind of hid it. You look um, I love the dress. It's just so dramatic. She's a superstar. Um, and I've just gone for little, my little pointy heels, some, shoes. some pearls, and just, you know, just the usual. I didn't go too off piece today because I couldn't just bother. Just couldn't how bothered. Freddie cleans the dishes in this outfit. <laughs> and M, let's see you. The sparkles on this dress are actually insane. Mermaid. Let's get a little close up. Mermaid. Beautiful. Thank you. And we're late. Bag and some shoes. We're late. We're late for, for a very important, important date. date. This is the makeup. You guys know that I don't really do makeup. Well, I do. Oh my god, that sounded so pick me, girl. I never do eyes. Um. And I just had a simple eye. Simple Charlotte Tilbury. Um cream eyeshadow in champagne and then the pop eyeshadow in champagne over the top with some sparkle and then just some brown charlotte tilbury eyeliner 
simple but i feel like it works and then charlotte tilbury lips always um highlighter charlotte tilbury just gives you like the gala goddess glow so that was the go-to um hair is hair is fine i wish i had more volume in my roots but i've put a bunch of dry shampoo in it to try and hoik it up um but yes the uber is here brief but gorgeous visit to m's flat it's so lovely i really want to come back soon um i don't have a coat either forgot to bring a coat so i'm just going out like this we are going cab to door and then cab to door back so i should be okay but um i'm really excited now i do love the natural history museum um i've been there once before after dark and it was amazing but that was like six years ago now or longer so i'm really excited to go <laughs> trying to find our uber we've just left but we feel like everyone is out here getting an uber got him <laughs> hmm? no <laughs> i'm so tired oh yeah straight back on i love that even though it's bedtime yeah let's in here okay go on then space in k and welcome to Hall Week. No, this is bag. the LTK goodie bag in case. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. A Stanley Cup, which is very exciting because I've never had one. <gasps> welcome. Thank you. Black. Black wouldn't be the choice. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh my gosh. Oh, but this is amazing. Wow. This is it is a mask? Such super, a good hair mask. For super, mask for super glossy, expensive looking it's hair. Really good. Oh, the Paula's Choice, AHA, BHA, exfoliant. This is really good, I really like that. Cordially spray. Oh, we won't pick the same one out. <laughs> we got the Sol de Janeiro spray. Oh, oh my I god, I'm so cool and on trend now. Oh this my god, brand. you got the pink one. Oh, are you jealous? I know you are. Do you want to swap? I don't know, because this smells good. What's the scent of the pink one? Um, I've actually never smelled this one, but that's like the famous one. Just left it all of my stuff in a total mess in Em's kitchen <laughs> from when we were getting ready earlier. So yeah, I just need to tidy up all my stuff. This is my super stylish journey home outfit. Sleep room, you still look so chic. <laughs> your hair looks perfect. Let me show the vlog the back of your hair. It look, look at me in comparison. I'm sorry, there are two types of girl. This is actually the Freddie bun. It literally looks perfection. But look at my look at my full outfit then. Here's a full look. I'm sorry, it's me in the mirror. And then Fred's. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. Look She's there. chic. Look at, look. <laughs> I mean, apart from down here. Then we get down here and it's a little less chic. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's the next day, and it's the most gorgeous morning in London today. So, so sunny, which is great because I'm shooting with Santini this morning. Um, we're shooting some spring content. It definitely looks like spring today, but it doesn't feel like it. It's so cold. So, hopefully, we won't be outside for too long. Oh, a nice man just told me I look really nice today. How sweet. Um, but yeah, excited to shoot some content, see Nicoletta, and then this afternoon I'm actually meeting a very, very special lady, young lady, who is visiting London um, from afar, shall we say. I'm so excited for you guys to see who I'm just going to grab a quick hot chocolate with today because I don't have too much time. I really, really wanted to just squeeze in some time with her while she's here, um, so you guys will see her later. And here I am at the Santini showroom. It's the most gorgeous showroom, guys. If you're ever visiting London, you have to come and visit. Oh, yeah, the robot robot did today. Will you be okay with that, Freddie? Yeah. Or would you be comfortable with it? It's fine, the robe. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Oh, 
are just the best. The best. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this. I think I need this. <gasps> Look one. So gorgeous. It's always Hollywood at Santini. <laughs> So I'm just at Elan Cafe in Selfridges. We just ordered some gorgeous cakes. And guys, guess who I'm with? Hi! It's the one and the only. <laughs> Mr. Laney, all the way from Australia. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Are you having the best time in London? Yes, I am. It is amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. It's too cold. Yes. Yes, it is way too cold. <laughs> Oh, you look gorgeous. That dress is so pretty. Where's it from? Is it? Yes. I love it. Thank you. What's it like at the bottom? Sorry, I'm not trying to get you to do a fashion show, but oh, it's pleated. I love it. Gorgeous. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's a lovely sunny Saturday today, although it's not warm. It's so cold, JJ and I have just been for a nice long walk to try and get some steps in for the day, although we only hit like over 5,000. I just don't know how people are doing 10K a day, like I really don't, I find it impossible. But we're just gonna chill now, get cozy. I've had a couple of deliveries, um, which I am so excited about, I want to show you. First of all, I know I am such a lucky, lucky girl, but I got a top up of two of my absolute favorite perfumes from Parfum de Mali. Delina, which I feel like everyone knows about now. It's very princessy. Although for me, the real princess is Valaya. And this is just heaven. Whenever I wear this and I go out, I get compliments. And I'll get compliments like six or seven hours after I've sprayed it. Like it actually stays on your skin and it's become like my signature scent, dare I say. I just love it so much. So I'm so happy to have a top up. So thank you, Parfum de Mali. Love you so much. And I also got my Christmas present from my parents. So I'll show you what it is. It's a white Kindle. So this is a long story. Basically, they don't make white Kindles anymore. They only make them in black. I was like, I really don't want a black one. I want a white one. So my dad found like this guy on eBay who refurbishes them basically. And he got me one for Christmas, but it had like a teeny crack. I opened it on Christmas day and my dad was like, you can either have it if you're not bothered about it or I can, we can wait until he gets another one in. So I was like, well, I have tons of books on the go at the moment, so I'll just wait. So here it is. How cute is that? I've never actually had a Kindle before because I was always like, no, I like books. I love the smell of books. I like... I just like books, but then I realized that I'm reading so much less because most of my bags now, because I like smaller bags, don't fit a book inside. Whereas this is so little and teeny weeny that it's gonna fit in pretty much all of my bags. And I think it will be so much nicer to use this like on holiday. Um, and I'm actually going on a proper holiday this year as well. Like one where I can lie down in the sun and read. And guys, I haven't done that in a very, very long time. <laughs> so a very good day to be Freddy, if you ask me. I've got some perfume and a Kindle. The sun is shining and I've got nothing to do today. <laughs> this is the only thing I've got to take care of today, isn't it, Cindy? I'm gonna play today. She is literally, guys my best friend oh no mommy got lipstick on you i'm such a bad mummy aren't i this is my outfit of the day um please ignore jj's singing equipment um i'm on my period as well so i'm feeling really horrible and bloated and in pain um so luckily it's just 
a cozy day today. So one of my jobs today is to sort out my jewellery. I had a big jewellery clear out a few weeks ago and now I'm going to put like all of my best and like most favourite pieces into my new jewellery box that I got in December which is so beautiful. I'll show you in a minute and I'm also going to show you um, some of my new like staple signature jewellery pieces that I've got that I've been wearing every day. The first actually these earrings I'm wearing now. So as you guys know I always wear like a classic gold hoop. It's kind of just like my signature everyday earring but I've only ever had gold plated and even though they've been quite a high like a high quality gold plate and even though I'm very careful like not to get them wet after time when you wear them every single day they do tarnish so these ones are from a brand called Lily and Rue and they are solid gold so they are not going to tarnish which is amazing they'll stay nice and shiny and gold and I can wear them in the shower um, I can wear them I never have to really take them out, which is amazing. So here is my absolutely beautiful jewellery box from Wolf. It's just absolutely heaven. Look at this gorgeous quilted pink leather. So this is where I'm putting like my very nice jewellery, you know, like not costume jewellery, kind of my, not all of it is fine jewellery, but there are a few fine pieces um, in my collection. Um, so I've got my necklaces, earrings, rings. <laughs> it has this little like hidden compartment where I put a couple of my silver pieces because they don't go as well. <laughs> then in the first drawer, I've got kind of like my more fun, slightly costumey jewellery. Um, all of my like Jennifer Burr, Santini, Lara Heems, um, these like vintage earrings. Just got so many lovely pieces. I had a big clear out the other day and this is like all of my favourite stuff. And then in the bottom, I'm just keeping like some pouches, dust bags and that kind of thing. And this is a really lovely um, travel case. Looks like this. Um, so yeah, the jewellery box is beautiful. I will link it down below for you guys. So here are some of my rings. These I have a few of, just really lovely plain gold thin bands that I think are just really pretty and these ones are gold filled so they aren't solid gold but they still don't tarnish they're like really hard wearing this ring on my middle finger um, is actually diamonds and uh, solid gold, but they're just like little parve diamonds, if you can see. Um, this is from La Grotta, which is a really beautiful, um, high quality, fine jewellery brand, but with like really good prices, I think. And for the whole of March, they are donating all of the proceeds to Cancer Research UK. So um, really beautiful brand to shop from for a good cause if you want to treat yourself to some beautiful new classic pieces. This one I'm not wearing today, but it's also from La Grotta and it's a really beautiful little pearl and gold ring, which I absolutely love. Do you know how hard it is to find really beautiful dainty pearl rings? Like they're really not that common and I just love this design so much. And then on this hand, I have this little braided gold ring, which is from Hay Harper, which is a non-tarnish um, gold jewellery brand, which is really cool. And then this one with this teeny tiny diamond is also from La Grotta. And then I just want to show you um, a couple more pairs of earrings from La Grotta because I just want to like give them a little spotlight right now because I love their pieces so much. They are just to die for. And I think what they're doing right now with their donation to Cancer Research is just amazing um so i want to give them a little shout out so we've got these which are a little bit more statement and so pretty and then these um which are a tiny bit more understated um but still gorgeous if you love like fine jewelry pearl jewelry gold um all of their pieces just so classic and feminine and good quality and i just love them so much anyway guys i think we're going to leave the vlog here as it's probably quite long by now and also my period pains are really kicking in i'm in so much pain right now so i just want to snuggle up on the sofa watch film i hope you have enjoyed the vlog and i'll see you all very soon bye <laughs>